Hi, welcome to the Gansplainer. I'm Jeff the Gansplainer and today I'm Gansplaining Magic Maze. So, it's been a year since I did my first videos for Magic Maze. What do I think of it? Do I still like it? All those questions will be answered. This game has had 15 plays since I did the video. So it's in one year, 15 plays this one game. It has come off the shelf a heck of a lot. But within each time it gets played, it usually gets played two, three times before it's moved on. So it's going to push the numbers up fairly dramatically. The other thing I've noticed is that with this game, it's kind of structured so that you can start at the lower levels at level one, two, three, etc., and it gradually adds a little bit, an element to the game each time. I have not yet played it with the everything in elements. I've got close to that, but I haven't got all the way to the end. The reason for that is that there's almost always going to be someone who hasn't played the game before sitting at the table. If there's someone like that, you've got to step back and go, okay, these are the basic rules, just to get them onto that, and then try and build from there. The problem is, the reason this game gets played two or three times is because people want to beat it. And so we play it until it's beaten. Once we've beaten the game, we then move on to something else. And so I will play level three, is usually the level I kind of introduce people at. I'll play that level a number of times without actually going on to level four, five, six, which will bring in all those other elements that we can use and, and other things to think about. There's also an expansion on the game. I have actually not bought the expansion. I've not got the expansion on this because I haven't managed to play the entirety of this game yet. I fear if I did play the whole game, that I'd probably actually get the expansion, because I do quite like it, I do quite enjoy this game. I just find that it's it's getting a bit, okay, yeah, okay, let's move through it, let's move through it. Ah, oh, no, okay, we failed, this is what needs to happen, we need to move that a little faster. The elements in the game, I quite like them still, the whole, you just gotta be silent and make the move, put a little um, thing in front of someone if they're supposed to be moving, or they're the only one who can move, and wait for them to work it out. I've had one game where we put the thing in front of someone and they just looked at it, it's like, uh, and they didn't do anything for ages, we lost that game obviously. Um, but it's having that switched on approach is really important. So if you've got someone at the table who's just not switched on with that, this is probably not the right game to play. If you've got people at the table who can't be silent, this is probably not the game to play. Unless they're willing to or able to follow rules that say, hey, be silent now for a while. Um, there's a lot of stuff to think about when you're trying to introduce this game to people. Once it's introduced, it's fun, it goes through quickly, and, you know, it's a game. Uh, it's not super high on my list of, of loved games, but it's it's on there. It's a good it's a good game. It's, it's, it's stable. So, look, I'll leave it there. If you haven't watched my games play or games explanation, please go ahead and have a look at them. See what you think. Um, throw your thoughts into it. If you have any other ideas, please throw them below so I can have a look at and, and respond. If you have any games that you would like to be Gamesplained, please shoot me an email at thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplainer to keep up to date with the games I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games I'm gamesplaining. And until next time, enjoy gaming.